Hey guys, I know I made that a little dramatic, but the reality is we don't like cables. I don't like cables. I have way too many cables around my office. So you as a VR developer are going to be excited that I want to announce that the Oculus Developer Hub is available and now you can transfer your APKs over Wi-Fi. There's going to be some requirements that are going to, when you need to set up your Oculus device, you're going to have to have the USB-C connected. Once you have that connected, you're going to be able to basically enable an option that is going to allow you to transfer the APKs over Wi-Fi in addition to metrics. You can also look at logs right in the Oculus Developer Hub. So it's a really cool tool and I want to show you how to set it up. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be downloading the Oculus Developer Hub for Windows in my case, but you can also download it for Mac if you have that operating system. I'm going to go ahead and click on download. It's going to just give me a zip. And then in that zip, we're going to be extracting the setup file. So let's go ahead and just extract that. Okay, so once that is extracted, I'm just going to go ahead and install it. And then once you do that, it's going to, you know, it's going to welcome you through the experience, the developer hub. It's going to require that you authenticate with Facebook, which, you know, obviously some, some people are annoyed by that, but I'm not going to get into that topic. I just want to make sure that this works and I give you the information. So you can just review the terms and documents. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And once you do that, I'm just going to go ahead and maximize it. It's going to take you to your basically developer landing page. This is an app that I uploaded to the App Lab and basically some information about, you know, the developer community. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into my device. This is what I want to show you. And this is something that I showed me on my other computer where I tested it. And it just basically is telling you that there's a different ADB path. Make sure that you're selecting the one where, you know, you have your Unity installation. So there's multiple Unity installations in here. And I believe if the project I'm using is 2020.3.3F1. So make sure that you select that. And this is the one. So if you want to change it, you can always go back and change it. So in my case, it's going to be this version. And then I'm just going to go ahead and restart. It's going to restart the, the developer hub. And then once you do that, it's going to, you know, it's going to work. You can go to settings and then look at the path. If you want to verify it, you can just open your Unity version and just make sure that that is the version that you, you want to have as the path. Because this is a tool that is going to push it to your device. You can also modify if you want to modify. I'm going to hit cancel. And then, you know, you can look at your account here and then about just to look at the version. What I want to focus on is basically getting my Oculus device set up, right? That's, one of the main reasons why we're doing this video because we want to be able to push remotely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select, you know, add device. And it's going to tell you here, I'm not going to walk you through setting up the device as, as a developer because I already did that in another video. And I'm going to be linking that in the description of this video if you guys want to go through that. Once you go through, you know, setting up your device as developer mode and enabling USB connectivity and all that, you're going to be able to do what I'm about to show you. So let's go ahead and get my device set up. So as soon as I connect it, you're going to see that it says connected to the device. It also shows the device ID. I have different options in here. If I want to cast, if I want to take a screenshot, record a video. And the option that I want to enable is going to be the ADB over Wi-Fi, which is going to allow us to push our APKs over to the device remotely. So I'm just going to go ahead and enable that. So once you do that, it's going to restart and the reason why it does that is because it wants to make sure that it can connect via Wi-Fi. And I'm going to show you that it's working by just disconnecting this cable, which is, which is the USB-C connection. And you can see that it still shows us connected. And this is really cool because now we can start pushing, you know, to the device. So what I'm going to do just to show you that I'm going to go into my, let's go ahead and look at, I think apps. This is an app that I already pushed. So I'm just going to go ahead and uninstall it. And we can close out a couple of things in here. I'm going to close out of this. And normally, if you go into Unity and you build your, you know, your APK, you're going to go into build settings and then build and basically build your demo, which is going to, in my case, it's a demo. In your case, it might be a complete game. So I already did that. So I don't need to do that one more time. If you want to learn about that process, make sure you watch that video that it's going to walk you through, through this process, which will be in the description. Okay. So once you do that, all you really need to do is you're going to, you're going to go into your APK here and just drag it and drop it. Once you drag it and drop it, it's going to tell you that it's installing an APK. And you're going to see that it's going to finish installing. And to show you that this is actually done, I'm going to go into Actions. I'm going to Cast. And this is another cool, uh, cool option that I really enjoy when I was testing this. It's going to allow me to cast from the device to my computer without doing a lot of work. And I'm also going to make this a little bit bigger. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let me just show you. I'm going to go ahead and open that up, make sure that I can see it. And we're going to go into all. I'm going to go into, let me go ahead and go into unknown sources. And you guys can see it's really, really fast. I can see MRTK Oculus Quest. It's going to open the experience. We make sure that you guys can still see what I'm doing. You can see the Unity logo. And it'll open here in just a second. And you can see the experience is already running. I just need to bring it up. I just have an issue with this experience. But, you know, everything is working. I can, you know, obviously move things around. I can grab the planet. But this is not about this experience. It's more about being able to push it. So this is really cool. Another cool thing that I think you're going to find enjoyable. We're going to leave this plane in here because I want to show you a couple more things. What if you wanted to take a screenshot of the experience that you are, you know, you're doing right now? I can just go ahead and click on capture. And as soon as I do capture, it's going to take a capture of this. And I can say, you know, you can take another screenshot. You can copy it to the clipboard. We can just take another one if we like to. And I can also record a video if I wanted to record a video of this. We can just move my head around. Just make sure we record a short video and then go ahead and hit stop. And then another cool thing is I can just go ahead and click on local. And it's going to open a folder on my local machine. And it's basically going to have the screenshots that I took, which is, which is actually really, really cool. And it has that 360 style. And I can also look at the video here. So I have the video playing while I'm casting, which honestly is, is really, really powerful. So that is actions, uh, some of the common actions that you'll do. Also, ADB over Wi-Fi, proximity sensor is something that you can enable here. You can enable and disable the Guardian. Also, the OVR metrics, and I think you're going you're gonna to really like this, and I'm going to show you how that works. You can either go to the metrics tab to basically install it, or you can go in here and actually click on install. All right, guys, so it looks like the OVR metrics completed installing, and now you can go into metrics, and it's going to show you a couple different metrics. So another cool thing that you can also do here, so if I make this a lot larger, if I wanted to display more information, you can display more information. So it can tell you, you know, GPU frequency, you know, these are some of the metrics that we're currently tracking. So if you don't want to see them, you can just toggle them. And then utilization on different CPUs, if you wanted to see that as well. And we can basically enable everything if you wanted to see everything. So that's going to be metrics. I can also, you know, turn them off. And as soon as I turn them off, you're going to see that now those metrics, you know, went away, which is something that was cool because in the past I used to, you know, think about, using that, but then having to in install the Unity component. And it just, you know, it just didn't make a lot of sense. And then performance in here, you can also look at performance right from this tab without actually going into the device. Some of the actions I already show you. Also, you can create custom commands if you wanted to do that. And then the other thing that is really cool also that I found helpful was the, the logger, right? This is something that you're going to need as a developer. If you're troubleshooting, if you want to know what's happening with your app, maybe it's not opening up. You can also use regex or you can just simply search for something in here. Maybe we just search for NAT, which is something that was showing in here. There we go. NAT 64 prefix. And you can also change the verbosity if you didn't want to see errors. We only wanted to see info. Maybe info is what you, you know, let me go ahead and hit enter one more time. Or there we go. Maybe info is what you want to see, but or maybe it's warnings that your app is throwing or you know, different verbosity types that you can, you can start capturing. You can clear the log, you can, you know, toggle out of scrolling on and off, and then you can also pause it or just do a download of the entire log or also copy it to your clipboard. So pretty generic tools that you as developers are going to, we are going to need. And then I think that's basically everything that you can do in, in here. You can also go into, okay, so another thing is package manager, right? So this is a, basically a component that the package manager is going to allow you to download different tools. So if you wanted to download additional tools that Oculus provides, this is where you can do that. I think you can also use download the Oculus integration in here. I'm not 100% sure, but you can download. I would imagine at some point it might be coming in here or maybe it's going to stay in the package manager within Unity. But obviously, you can do, you know, additional tools that Oculus provides are going to be here. And this just reminds me of the Magic Leap Lab, where you can do a lot of those things in, you know, in that, in that tool. It's basically an environment for developers, specifically for the platform. And then notifications, if we had any notifications on Oculus, they're showing here. 
and then obviously settings, which is what you, I just show you in the last few minutes. So another question that you might ask is what is the, what is this different to the Oculus application? And the Oculus application is going to be more for consumers, right? This is where consumers will go and look at their apps. They can look at the device as well, what devices are connected. This is going to be more for developers. So it's just more tools, you know, in your, basically in your toolbox that are going to allow you to develop and, you know, make better experiences for Oculus. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.